Hi, my name is Patrick McLaughlin and I'm 17. My name is Daniel Garrett and I'm 16. And we're from Australia. The idea is called Atmospheric Fireworks. Artificial shooting stars or atmospheric fireworks are compounds compressed to about the size of a marble. These are going to be jettisoned from the International Space Station. What we hope will happen is that using the speed of the ISS, it will be transferred and the velocity will become so high in these little atmospheric fireworks that when they re-enter, they will create a shooting star effect. Okay, the jettison process is simple. The atmospheric fireworks simply have to be jettisoned towards the Earth's general direction because no matter where they enter through the atmosphere, we should get a spectacular display. And due to the size and strength of the atmospheric fireworks, there isn't the slightest chance of them reaching the Earth's surface. As we can see, when burning certain safe and stable chemicals, they have the potential to produce a terrific colour. The atmospheric fireworks will be made by combining the chemicals together with a basic bonding agent. This will keep the fireworks solid and will create a beautiful streak effect. The science behind our experiment relies on the concept of how shooting stars are formed. With the great velocity combined with the air resistance in our atmosphere, any particle should be able to be converted into shooting stars. This can be seen when space junk re-enters our atmosphere. Our idea has the potential to become a masterpiece. It will amaze the world. Once the concept has been proven, the potential to create synchronized celestial displays will become reality. As our display has no byproducts, it is environmentally friendly. The entire firework is vaporized in the atmosphere. This has a great advantage over traditional fireworks, which fill the air with smoke and debris. The effect of the atmospheric fireworks will be so spectacular that the whole world wants to see this. People will step out of their houses and stare at the sky, waiting for the biggest display of art or expression or creativity ever seen before. And it's going to all happen in space.